Hey everybody, I'm on my way to look on a work order. Uh, the apartment has too much heat, so that's good, right? Uh, no, because they are complaining. So we have a Honeywell zone valve. So it's a very easy fix. It could be the thermostat or the zone valve. So I'm gonna tell you which one it was. This is not a no heat call, this is a too much heat service call. And this is a 400,000 BTU boiler that controls 12 apartments, six in the first floor and six in the second floor. These are the zone valves for the first floor. And we have two pumps, one for each building. And what controls the pump is the Honeywell Relay R8A32A and we have the transformers there. So right here, right here we have the thermostat wires that come from each apartment. And when the tenant calls for heat in the apartment, it's gonna activate the zone valve. The zone valve through the end switch is, acti is gonna activate the pump through the relay right there. And then when it satisfies the temperature, it turns it off and then it starts all over again. Now let me remind you how uh, the zone valve is wired with the thermostat and the transformer. So we have the transformer here. We're gonna feed the thermostat first. And then from the thermostat, it's gonna go to the motor side of the valve. And then the other side of the Honeywell zone valve is gonna close the circuit to the transformer. So when you call for heat, there's already 24 volts waiting. And then when the uh, R and W makes, it's sending the signal. And then since we have 24 volts waiting, here's gonna close the circuit. And then the end switch it's gonna go to TT and then through, there is a transformer here and a relay. Through that, it's gonna send the power to uh, XX to the boiler. So this is the boiler here. And then the other one is gonna go first, is gonna be in service with the gas valve, high limit, whatever safeties gonna go first and then it goes to the other xx of the boiler so when you call for heat it's already 24 volts waiting because this is over here it closed the circuits it activates the end switch the end switch terminals go to tt on the relay and then these through the relay and the transformer and of course the pump are connected here, the power here, and, uh, and this goes to the pump, and the power source comes through here. So the apartment where we have the problem is apartment number three right here. So let's remove the cover. And if you remember the wires, the two in the back, are the wires for the motor and the two in the front are the wires for the end switch. The customer has the thermostat in the off position. So let's try this. The lever here, this lever here, is supposed to be very hard to move because it's not activated, but it's very easy to move as if it had 24 volts but it doesn't remember the tenant has it off to 60 so it doesn't have any power and if you see the end switch so that's it do you see that the switch is pressed it's on so this valve failed in the on position and let's make sure it doesn't have 24 volts and there is nothing see uh so there's uh is the thermostat is not calling for heat 
but this it's on it's stuck on so we have to replace it now let me show you the next one this one it is calling for heat and this one has 26 volts so this one is calling for heat the lever is easy to move because it's on the end switch is on so it's what it's supposed to do but this one failed in the on position so now I'm gonna call the customer to tell him to turn the um, thermostat on just to verify all this that I just told you I just called the tenant and I asked him to turn it on to set it to 88 and I got 24 volts I couldn't show you because I'm recording with my cell phone so then he turned it off all the way to 60 and then I lost the power however it's stuck in the on position it didn't move the motor or, or anything so uh, we're gonna replace the whole valve you could replace the motor but I'm replacing everything uh, because it's 12 years old so it's about time to replace everything so I'm gonna turn everything off all the zone valves are connected in series because any valve can activate the pump so if you notice here this white number two is connected to number two number one is connected to number two and then from number two goes to num number three and then four five and six so any zone valve can turn the pump on and then we're gonna do that and the two wires in the back one comes from the thermostat and the other one comes from the transformer so it has two screws holding the head to the body so it's easier to use a smaller screwdriver so we're going to replace remove these two screws So it took some jiggling. These are exactly the same, but they are different. These have the four wires like that, and the ones the one I'm removing it has the terminals here, but they do exactly the same. So uh, we're gonna put it like that. This has to fit in here. So just make sure. Um, it fits and then just jiggle a little bit there you go make sure it's all the way in so that's it make sure it's tight that's secure So let me show you what I did. I have four wires. Two are for the end switch, the red ones, and the yellow ones are for the motor to the uh, two terminals in the front. So are these red ones. And I just connect them, connected them as they were. The power came from here to here to here. So it comes to here, to the valve, to the other one. And I did the same with the other side of the end switch. It comes from this one here. It goes to this one and then it goes to the next one and the yellow ones which is the thermostat and the transformer goes to the motor to the yellow ones so just like that now that it's off the valve should be off and this should have some resistance and it does and i can hear the motor and then it goes by by itself before it was stuck in the on position so now uh, I'm gonna call the tenant and I'm gonna tell him to, uh, right now he has it in the off position. I'm gonna tell him to call for heat and then we're gonna watch this. So I just told the tenant to turn it on. So he's gonna do it in a couple seconds. Let's watch the lever go and activate the end switch. You, you see it is going it's traveling and now it's making 
contact. So activating the end switch, you hear the switch, and now you turn the pump on. And I told him in five seconds, turn it off, so he just did. So it's working. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so very much. Don't forget to date your valve so you know how long they last. And the customer is happy, so everybody's happy. Thank you so much for watching. I, I'll see you next video. Thank you so much.